Jesus. Welcome. To see you. What are you guys talking about? Welcome to the podcast. We've got Brittany. Hi, guys. We've got country. What's up? And we've got, listen, we've got the number one most requested, more than any celebrity, more than any social influencer, my son, Noah Atwood, in the house. Come on. Yes. Come on. This, this is like... Dude, I, I can't tell you how much you requested on this show. And it surprised me. I could not <laughs> believe every TikTok clip, like the top comment was always, where's Noah? Where's Noah? We want yeah. Noah on the podcast. I almost wear a shirt. The last episode says, where's Noah? <laughs> Get that's, Noah on the show. That's not the first time where Noah's been. Yep. Like, yeah, that's, that's true. true. But you haven't been gone or illegal right. to put you on here. We just <laughs> wanted to make it right, make it good. Right. And what do we do? We show up here with no plan. Yeah. No plan. No plan. <laughs> nope. Well, welcome to the podcast. That's Thank our style you. right there. We have no plan. Uh, thank you guys for listening, for watching, for subscribing. We are still, there are still more viewers unsubscribed than subscribed. So if you got that ability, take a second, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit how how y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? Tired, but First of all, we're here. No, it's huge. You're huge. You're, oh, no. you're hiding yeah, it. No, that's not me. I lifted my yeah. chair up so I'd be taller than you. This is me normal. <laughs> no. <laughs> this I, is my full size. I, I have a short torso, you know? <laughs> so when I sit down, I'm shorter than everybody. I literally sat here and I was like, how tall do I need to be? I got to be taller than my boy. There um, you go. 17. Yeah, I'm about to turn 18. Uh, well, I, I settle down. That in settle down. Car. Oh, All right, you still got a month and a half. I don't want to yeah. jump the gun here. I still got my little boy. What For some saying? reason, I was thinking it was September and I was like, it's only a few weeks away. Ugh. And we're like, wait, what? And I was like, no, we have like a month and a half. I'm happy for you, but I'm sad because you're yeah. still my baby, dude. Whether you like it or not. Yeah. Just <laughs> one big baby though. <laughs> we were just mentioning uh, before we started the show that you had, a, uh, Britt said you looked like the boy from uh, Rudolph right now. Yeah. I <laughs> literally, that's been a family joke. Like for a long time. For real? I've never heard of this. Really? Do you have that picture? I do. Let me picture. see the picture. Oh. You guys got to see this picture. I, I don't know if it's the hair I right now. I think it's the red cheeks. That helps. It's Did the you hair. have your head out the window on the way here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, from the old Noah. This the is, old Noah. This is my Noah. I don't know. We got to get a we gotta get a close up on this. And Noah's cam. Let me see. Can't get it. Doesn't matter. Chase is coming. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, look at that. That's... That's my baby right there. The relic right there. <laughs> well, welcome to the show. We've been shooting this. Um, this is your first time here, which yeah, is crazy. I've never seen inside of here. Yeah. And we're always like, we're going to the podcast. We're going to the podcast. And you're day one. Here we are. So I, I actually came here with nothing really to talk about. Obviously, I want to talk about why I believe that you're the most requested on the show. One, you've been a part of our vlog since day one. You're a little boy. Running around. I was the first one to show up on the vlog channel. You are the first face mm, and voice yeah. in the very first vlog mm -hmm. ever, which is adorable. Are we going? Oh, I don't even remember where we were going. No. But I believe that you, my, our viewers aged with you the most. So mm -hmm. most of our viewers now are young adults. Um, some are older. Some are a lot older. But for the majority, they were kids and now they're adults like you're becoming. And I think you relate to them. You come from a separated mom and dad. So they relate to even more. A lot of viewers have separated parents. So I believe that you are a major inspiration to our audience that we have built for the last, I don't know, 10 years solid. And I just want to chat with you about it. But also, yeah. but I feel like also, like within the last year, Noah's had this insane gym transformation there's been like little clips on TikTok, on his TikTok, and people are like, there's no way that's Noah. And it's kind of like, is it Noah? Is it someone pretending to be Noah? Yeah. Is it like, yeah. So I think they wanted to see that too. And like, yeah, crazy transformation, which obviously on the podcast, it's hard to tell, but the, the, the dude is, is killing it in the gym. You're like six days a week at the gym. Yeah. Um, we'll get, we'll get to the, the whole TikTok thing because it's hilarious <laughs> to me. Because we've never had social media for the kids. Mm -hmm. We've never done it. I've never told you you can't have it. We just have never done it. Mm -hmm. And I think you've had them, but they're very private. TikTok is the first one that just became explosive without us. Right. Without anybody even knowing it's you. 
Like they know it's Noah's videos, but they don't know if it's your account or our account or a fan account. This is your account. Mm -hmm. The TikTok. Listen, this is my boy. The name. The name's <laughs> <laughs> no profile picture. Do you have a profile picture yet? I don't have a profile picture. All right. By the time this episode goes live, you have a couple weeks, a profile picture. Because we're going to get professional here. All right. All right. This is social media 101 profile picture. Um, and, and, and second, your name is Noah Atwood 1 with no profile picture. So it could appear that it's not you. Yeah. I would say half of the comments on every video is, is this actually him? This yeah. has to be fake. Everybody thinks it's fake. Well, the but, transformation is massive. Yeah. These videos you're posting are, it's basically taking you as a, as a boy to this man. Mm -hmm. which is, is, is killing it in the gym and eating right. And like you're turning into a man in front of people's faces. Like this can't be real. Right. Even for me, because last summer, this exact time, I was taller than you. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and now yes. I'm literally yeah. saying bye, buddy. And I'm hugging you. I'm looking up at you. Yeah. It's wild. I just bought your dad a pair of gelling so he could just feel <laughs> get a little bit higher. That's a good idea. Dude, it's a, it's a weird time as a dad, especially if uh, you... If I had to correct you, it's hard to correct somebody when you're looking up at them. It's an authority. When you look down at somebody, it's easier to have authority. So when I'm looking up at you, you know, first well, of all, I'm like, don't beat me up. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> no, but um, what inspired you? Like, it was it because your dad and and Brittany was like on this health journey too? Like, is that something that you just wanted to take it on? and take it to where you wanted to do. Right. Well, I, I feel like you guys started a little bit after me. That's what I was going to say. I think mm -hmm. you were in it before we were. Right, but not yeah. long. Yeah. Only a couple months, I would say. So it obviously started, I was insecure my whole life. I'd always been called skinny and made fun of for it. Yeah, welcome to my world. Yep. <laughs> like father, like son. Yep, thanks, Dad. <laughs> I got you, bro. I got you. Uh, <clears throat> so it was around the same time Owen... I'm sure a lot of people know yeah. who that is because Owen's video blew up on TikTok. You guys are crushing it. Right. And he was, it was during COVID. He started losing weight. And around when he was at like his skinniest point, because he got really skinny, mm -hmm. he just lost all that weight. And then I texted him. I was like, dude, we have a gym here at the old house. I, I kind of want to start lifting. And we just went one day, we kind of, it was dirty down there. So we cleaned it up a little bit <laughs> and we went one day, we started going, I don't know, two, three times a week, mm -hmm. whenever we could. <clears throat> and it just kind of became a habit slowly, slowly. I remember days that I was dragging just to go to the gym. I That's did not so want to go. Yeah. And now at this point, I I have to go. Like, <clears throat> that is what I want to do. I, I will vouch for you if, if we can't, if we're gone for the day. He looks like he's freaking out that he miss, has to miss the gym. And I have to be like, buddy, it's good. Let your body recover. Like I'm, mm -hmm. I'm like, you're going to be all right. But I can see it in his face. Like it's so important and habit and part of your routine. Right. But dang, I, I didn't even know that it started from insecurities. Yeah. It was, I wouldn't like, say. Who said these things? I want names. <laughs> I want names. This is a small town. Yeah. Uh, no, but I'm sure that's super relatable to a lot of people. Yeah. Um. I got buff for other reasons, if you can't tell. Do you have any, like, <laughs> weird or funny or any, like, gym stories that's happened to you, like, going to a public gym or anything? <laughs> Not really, no. honestly. Everyone just kind of does their thing. Yeah. yeah. You haven't seen those old guys, like, hanging upside down like Spider-Man? <laughs> <laughs> when you said old guys, I've I've seen some naked old men in the locker room. <laughs> they don't care. I don't know where they get their confidence from. Well, as you age, you slowly... Stop caring. Yeah. And, and that, I think, is what helps us enjoy life more. We <laughs> care so much about everybody else's thoughts that we restrict our ability to enjoy life. I know I've noticed through just my age, I'm 39. I care a lot less about what people think about me. I now do things for me and my family, for you guys, for Britt, for myself. Um, I'm not running through the gym doing a helicopter, <laughs> but maybe another 30 years I will. Maybe you so will. I don't care, Joe. I don't care, Joe. You'll just be that old guy. <sighs> when you're little and when you're old, you get away with anything. You, that's your moment yeah. to do whatever you want. Oh, he's old. He's old. Or, oh, it's just a little kid, right? Yeah. You have that, that gap you got to fulfill. 
<laughs> but I think when we stop caring truly about other people, uh, I got to wear these certain clothes to fit in, right? When you stop realizing that you don't, man, life becomes so much better and easier and, and real, right? You're not trying mm -hmm. to chameleon your way into this group or this, this thought. It's, you know, that's my thoughts on it anyway. Do you have any crazy gem stories or anything? Oh my God. <laughs> Country is a crazy gem story. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. no, I, have a, I have a few, but um, I think the interesting thing that stands out is when I go to the gym, um, everyone asks is like, like, what do you take? What do you want? And I'm like, man, I have the worst eating habits. You do. I just want rib. Just, you just, do. No, no, and, I, and I mean Jolly that, rich. like, it's bad. Yeah. This guy, but, you don't call him the candy man for no but reason. I'm also like inspired by watching how you guys go because I'm like, man, I gotta eat better. I gotta do things better. And I, the problem is, I'm, I'm, I don't do the extra what you guys would do. Mm -hmm. Like, like I'm not pre I'm prepping meals, doing things, but. And I don't, and a part of me is like, ah, I don't even care. But also part of me is like, I know that's a big reason why I haven't seen certain results of like what I'm working out in and mm -hmm. what I'm doing. But with me, I'll tell you this, I'm just happy to go to the gym and at least try my best. Yeah, and, I mean, that's, and it, exactly. that's all it is. Like it, it is mentally for me, it's, it's a fun thing. But You like going in the locker room with the old men, huh? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm always calling like, where are you? Just chilling at the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> just waiting. Oh my God. Just waiting. <laughs> waiting for this helicopter to land. <laughs> All right, guys, this video is sponsored by SeatGeek. I've spoke many times on this podcast about these guys. They've been in our vlogs. They've been a part of our life for many years. The summer concerts are here and the MLB season is in full swing. And that means you can get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code Atwood, A-T-W-O-O-D. If you didn't know already, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. We've got the app on our phones and it's by far the best way to buy tickets. This is the best app for tickets. Don't hesitate. If you haven't got this app by now, what are you doing? With so many amazing concerts and live events happening right now, you're not going to want to miss out. You can go to baseball games, Morgan Wallen, The Weeknd, and so much more. We've used SeatGeek for everything from Justin Bieber to UFC uh, to 21 Pilots. We have used SeatGeek for everything. SeatGeek wants to make sure you're getting a good deal. So when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green is the good deal. If you see a red dot, that's a bad deal. Aim for the green. And of course, we've got the hookup. Use code Atwood for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code Atwood. Make sure you click the link in the description and download the app. All right, guys, let's get back to it. So I can say no right off the gate. Uh, I've never been hit on at the gym, but I assume that's a place to go, right? Have you been hit on at the gym? No. No. Never. Country? Yeah. Yeah. All the time. These All dudes the love you, bro. All the time. I walk around like Beyonce. Like, I go, <laughs> you know, I'm married now. But. Oh, man. You see this? <laughs> yeah. Actually, that ring's usually what gets you hit on. No. You know what? Um, <clears throat> you know what's interesting? <laughs> is that women, women won't approach me, but they will try to slide into your DM. Actually? And yeah, to this day, I think it's like, I guess they're like, hey, you know, <laughs> what's up? How you doing? How do they, they find, slide how do they, your DMs? How do they find you though? <laughs> they 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 like do. they just look for brown dudes like, with beards and they you know scroll? I, I guess they they realize you know <laughs> hey, who's this guy and they start asking questions but yeah I get it all the time though I, I, it's flattering to a certain degree but then don't pay no mind to it especially of course. Now, like married now you're so an adult I don't pay no mind to it you know yeah, about being young I, I feel great no you anybody hitting on you at the gym. Not once. Not once. Never Not once. No. I wonder if it's just this extreme focus because I know when I, I see you at the gym constantly, you're in a zone, man. Yeah, we wave the, from far. You got and the it's earbuds like, in, you're caught. Like, yeah, it would probably be hard to approach somebody that's just, they're there to just crush it and leave. Yeah, I've never, never, not even one time. That would feel good. Do you want me to set you up? It would just, just pay someone 10 bucks to walk up to me and say, hey, you're, you know, you're looking good. <laughs> Like that, 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 that would go a long way. You know, that would okay. go a long way. I'll set somebody so. up. <laughs> <laughs> just hire somebody. Just, just hire somebody. <laughs> One day I'm going to say, Hey, I've never been hit on at the gym either. Yeah, maybe we're going the wrong gym, you know? Or maybe we're just butt ugly. Yeah. <laughs> we just butt ugly. Is Probably. Just the problem. So, um, no girlfriend. No. Not currently. Have you, have you had any girlfriends? 
Not I don't, a lot. That was a close a book. I know. I feel like you're very just focused. Yeah. You're at that, you're at that, you're at that, that strange age where there's almost not time for that. Mm -hmm. Right? Like if you look at your day right now, the it's things 17. you enjoy, Yeah, the things mm -hmm. you're looking forward to between school and your gym routines, your eating routines, your job. Very hard to have. There's that. no time. It's I've thought tough. about that a lot. And 18 years old, you got all the time in the world. It's only a couple, a couple yeah, weeks if, old. If it's, <laughs> if it's serious and that important, you find time. Well, what happens yeah. is you you won't have a choice. You're going to meet this person, and all of a sudden you're going to be like, yeah, the gym can wait. The, you know what? I'm going to work less hours. That's what happens. And that's when you need to find some a girl who wants to go to the gym. Yeah. You know? Get you, you both go together. Well, can I ask this question? What is your type? What, what, what is something I appeal into you of like, what is you looking forward to like a woman that down the line, like things that you're doing that. Yeah, does, we can take like, applications right now. We can let's do this. Like, so he wants a girl that goes to the gym. I think okay. that's the biggest thing. Is girls goes to the gym. It's just to, enjoys fitness, enjoys. Right. Okay. To help me with my goals. Cause that's my main goal is influencing in the gym. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, just I haven't thought too much about that. Just kind of waiting. Cause, yeah. you, you've got time. Yeah. You've got time. time. You've got yeah. time. You're not running out of time. In fact, yeah. 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 I, I, I heard somebody say it's like uh, when, when, you, when you see less runway in front of you and more runway in the rear view mirror, it's when you really start freaking out. Right now, you're all runway. You're all runway. <laughs> yeah. You've got tons of time. Um, so I love that. I love as a father that you're focused and you're, you're working, mm -hmm. you're taking care of your body. That's something I never did. I never did it. So I was 37. Mm -hmm. That's, that's something I was going to ask, uh, you guys, I'm not sure when you started, but do you guys regret not starting younger as mm -hmm. like my age? Oh, for sure. I started after having Cora, I had Shannon at the house. That's why we had a whole gym in a basement. <laughs> I started after her and I, I wish I would have kept going being pregnant with Knox, but then I took that like huge break and then getting back into it was a lot harder. Yeah. But yeah, I wish at 18, I was working out. Yeah. I think, I think for me, I started solely on the, the, once we had Knox, right. I've always been just thin and kind of, uh, I'm always moving. Right. So I've always stayed, uh, mobile, very active, mm -hmm. but with you as a, a boy, I had infinite energy, right. With Knox, I'm like, I have I have to do things that increase my energy. And the gym, trying to eat better was, was part of that. That's solely why I started. I'm not in the gym to get buff. I'm not at the gym to, I'm at the gym to get more energy, to feel better. And of course it's nice to look better, but uh, I'm not chasing the- The, the pump. The pump. Well, no, I do like the pump. <laughs> That's the problem. Mm -hmm. You leave the gym, you're like, okay, okay, dang. And then you wake up the next morning, you're like, well, crap. It's the worst. So you have to go to the gym to keep yeah. that pump. That's where the addiction begins, I believe, because mm -hmm. you enjoy that look, right? So you're like, only invite friends over after the gym, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Take those pictures right with the, with the pump. <laughs> I always do. I do. I do. Yep. Yeah. Or out of the sauna, yeah. Um, so you just mentioned that you want to influence which is super cool to hear because um, I don't know if you know this, but I've been an influencer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, fitness influencer. That's super cool. I know, I know you've mentioned this to me, but where, where do you, you, like you want to do gym videos? You want to motivate people. You want to, you want to get them to the gym. Is that? Like, yeah. I would say helpful videos along with just, daily videos, me going to the gym, whatever I'm doing that day. And yeah, getting people to the gym. That's awesome. Sure. Dude, you could help so many people. Yeah. There, everyone listening right now looks up to you so much. And I know they would want to follow you on that. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I love that. So what kind of, see, my head instantly goes to branding. Like that number one. Yeah. Like what, what, like how do we launch Noah's brand? Right. right? Away from dad. You know, because <laughs> Every single thing he has right now, he has not done with me at all. Mm -hmm. The TikTok yeah. stuff, I have not. This is the first time you're hearing me speak of Noah's social media ever. Never. He's done it all on his own. But I think that's a good thing. No, it's, I mean, it's amazing. Brands. You're you guys, talking about brands. I mean, but you also like, 
I'm pretty sure you, you both have a lot of say-so and ideas. Mm-hmm. I think that's great that you guys just let them go about it. If you want to talk to me, talk to me. If you don't, yeah, I see. I, I see you in the house when you're eating the steak dinner. No, it's <laughs> it's also super cool that you're 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 doing a spectrum that we never touched on. Mm-hmm. We never did gym stuff, right? So it's like a whole new avenue for you, which is fantastic. And I'm I'm here for you, right? At all times, right? So it'd be really cool to 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 help figure out this this journey. That's awesome. So by the time this episode goes live, you need to have a profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. a blue check mark to make sure everyone knows it's actually let's you. Just, let's just make this a training video <laughs> for all those out there that don't have profile pictures and you're trying to do social media. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. But you could you could really uh, do some cool stuff. Supp- your own supplements, mm-hmm. your own you know things that you enjoy and like. Uh, man, I love that. Yeah, that would be that super awesome, cool. Man. Are you taking any supplements? Like, do you take like creatine or like a creatine. pre-workout or I anything? I do create creatine and just protein powder. Nice. And I know you eat a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta tell me. Like, oh, this boy's always eating. I have always to. Eating. Yeah, we have to put a food budget yeah. aside for this kid, dude. He's a clean plater. <laughs> <laughs> Kills it. But he eats good. I see him. Mm-hmm. He's like out there yeah. measuring your food. and mm-hmm. dude, He weighs it all out. You're it's on awesome. it, man. It's, you're way more responsible than I ever was. Yeah. And that's the thing with dieting. It's, I like to say, and I know a lot of other people say it's, 80% diet and 20% actually in the gym. Mm-hmm. So that was it's so important. That was my problem. I was going to the gym for months and months and months. Nothing changed. A second, like two weeks after I started the food, my whole body transformed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah Unbelievable. He, left me for, he left me for a trainer. Yeah, I ditched the country. You know, I said, me, he ditched me hard. This ain't working. This ain't working. <laughs> I'm going to say this though. Your, your, your dad always had the, the push. But he was always complaining at the oh, gym. Stop it, bro. I'm telling you, man, all the time. He's like, I don't know. Why are we starting off with this amount of weight? Why don't we go low? And I was like, what? And I just used to look at him like, come on, man. You haven't even did anything. Like, let's go. But I would say this. When he started getting really focused, like he, you, you've seen that change in him. But then he grabs his cell phone and then he's. Looking at the things on social media and what it is, I'm like, hey man, it's time to get Focus up. Focus up. Get, yeah. get up. Yeah, it took me a long time to get my head in the game. Like to I really know. go in there like well, a, Maybe like it didn't help when I have a donut in my hand too, training with. <laughs> Come on, here we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very true. It is very mental. So let's chat about life, man. You are a senior this year. Dad, gone. You're finishing it out. Yep. Love it. I couldn't Proud be more excited. Man. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a proud dad. I really am. You've been. Uh, the dream kid. Like, how much do we talk about this? Literally the easiest. How many times have I punished you in your life? Like, honestly. I remember one time having to take your, uh, <laughs> what was that thing? A PSP? <laughs> your little PlayStation? Oh, man. Yeah. I, I love that. We were thing. on vacation. I remember having to take it from you and you were crushed. But it was like I, the only punishment that we ever had. I, I bet on, on, on this many times, less. Like two hands I've punished you. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. It's crazy. Yeah. I, I've punished Kane, who's 10, 1,000 times mm-hmm. and <laughs> counting. Today, there'll be more. Yes. Like, that's how different you have been. And, dude, I know we've been through some hard times together. We've had a lot of um, – the reason we're sitting right here is from a lot of past sacrifice, a lot of time right. away. Uh, some of the hardest times ever was, was having to be away to create these vlogs, create this YouTube career. And you were at the age where you knew what I was doing. So right. Dad has to leave. We'd be in LA for three weeks, four weeks, uh, and it was crushing. In fact, I remember, uh, I remember doing Warp Tour in 2006, and you were super young. You were two, mm-hmm. and <clears throat> Grandma and Grandpa would send me pictures by mail, photos <laughs> on tour date stops. We'd get updated <laughs> photos. It was so awesome. Um, it was. I can't remember how many dates it was, but it was like 40 some cities that we did on Warp Tour. There was like a week or two left of the tour. And on, I got these new photos of you on grandpa's shoulders. And I immediately went home. That was the last day. I couldn't, I couldn't go another day. I was, cr- it was like almost a month and a half away from you. Hand selling my DVDs, just hustling every day, trying to sell, sell, sell. It was before YouTube. It's like YouTube started that year, I believe. So I came home because I missed you so much. And then from that point on, I was gone even more. Mm. It was just 
constantly gone. It's crazy. Yeah. I remember so many times, countless times of just crying because you had to leave. Mm -hmm. But now I understand you did it for... It all makes sense now. Yeah. But that's the sacrifice that has to be made starting these careers. It's like this early sacrifice to have a better future, right? Yeah. If it all goes well, right? You can you can have all the sacrifice and it fails mm -hmm. too. But uh, I remember many times, uh, just remember just flying home, showing up, surprising Noah. Like mm -hmm. we, we, it was one of the hardest times in my life was having to be away from my, my kids, my family. But you were at the age where you understood it. The other ones have always been so young. Knox doesn't even know to date that this life even exists, right? He's just a zombie throwing trucks and like, uh, but Kane has a little bit of that. Uh, but you went through the most. Mm -hmm. uh, me and your mom split up when you were what, three? Mm -hmm. Three? I think so. Um, to this date, I remember this moment, absolute worst time of my life. I'm in the, the, the rock bottom, I would call it. And I'm picking you up from grandma's house. And when I was around you, I always kept it this. This is me, right? But inside I was just crushed. I felt like I was losing you, right? I was, I was, I was really losing you. And we're driving down our road. And out of nowhere, you put your hand on my knee. And you said, you said something like, everything's going to be fine. And to this day, I'll never forget that moment. And where we're sitting right here, right now, everything was fine. Wow. <laughs> and it blows my mind, dude. You're such a good kid. Like from day one, you're just so good to me. And it's just such an honor. You're almost an adult, dude. Stop <laughs> yeah. it. Time is evil. You need to you need to get punished at least before you're 18. Yeah, you're yeah. Wrong. I don't know what's going on. I need to ground you one time. <laughs> no, I don't remember the last time I was grounded. It doesn't exist. No. It's just very good to a parent. Now I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid back through Kane and <laughs> no no Knox's. These kids are making up for all your goodness. Oh, yeah. Dude, these kids, I never had a kid like Knox. He's the kid that if I hand Noah a marker, he doesn't do anything wrong with that marker. He colors Knox, the paper. You give that kid a marker. In fact, don't even give the kid a marker. He's going to find a marker and he's going to go to that wall as fast as possible. And he's going to scribble as much as he can before he gets caught. <laughs> He's a different breed. So who he gets that from? Whose side? I, you know what? I, I think I think COVID did it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a COVID baby. It's a COVID. Dude, I can't explain He's the difference. Different. In my each kid is so different, man. Yeah, yeah. The, the yeah. little gene pops, pop, pop. Like it's, it's, kids are wild, dude. Hyenas. Yeah. But Noah's also. We have a more humbling past yeah. together from hard and times and separation and. Uh, and, and creating a career and it, it, that does humble you. It makes you a, a very thankful person for the good yeah. times, right? Also, an amazing brother. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you, every time I come over the house, you the kids are always with you. They look up to you in so many ways. The, gen the genuine love you give for them and you always make time for each and every one of them. And I, I find that so beautiful in my eyes to see because you are truly, truly all about family. And you get that from, you know, who you surround yourself around with. And it's like, one of my biggest joys when you guys came over to the house and like, I was like, man, I ain't got nothing cool to show in my house. And you guys were like, dude, we're ready to come back. And I'm like, let's do it. Let's do yeah. it. But just, just seeing that in you and like mentoring them and just being there for them. And I see you spend like core, like you just sit there and you just do what she wants to do. Mm -hmm. He's and the like, best. I mean, like really, man, that's really, really inspiring to see. I and mean, you need more kids that are like brothers and sisters, like to have that bond because some of them are just my brothers never wanted to do anything with me. It was like you were the kiss out. You you're on your own. Like Kane's definitely gonna have a hard uh, time when you decide to move out. We have we oh, have yeah. a constant anxiety, Britt and I, of uh, yeah, the connection Noah has with the kids. I've walked in the house same time with Noah. Most of the time, the kids run to him. Yeah. I, I, I mean, there's some serious love there. Mm -hmm. And my fear is this boy is growing up. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, know that separation when Noah decides to go when he's 30, 35. <laughs> 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 when he's out. Like, 
Dude, Kane relies on you through the day. Like, I know. Literally. He doesn't want to do anything unless uh, Noah's coming. When's Noah get home? When's Noah get home? Like, yeah. he's just waiting, and I'm like, man, another year. Mm-hmm. Dude, it's going to crush him. I've thought of the same thing. Yeah. Like, I don't know how he's going to react. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's like you're leaving the nest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now these kids got to f- learn to fly. Right. Yeah. It's like, dude, I think about it all the time. You're such a centerpiece in the house, dude. And, uh, Leave it to me to age gap all my kids nice and spaced out. <laughs> yeah. It's not like Kane's like, well, in two more years, I'm out too. It's not. Dude, you're with me a long time. Eight well, more mm-hmm. years. Seems like a long time. It's not. It's not It'll a long go time. fast. Yeah. All right, guys, we got to pause for a moment, throw some love to one of our sponsors, Skillshare. You know, we have all these new ways to learn things. Skillshare is a new way to possibly start a new career. A lot of people are taking a step back to reflect on what they want to do for their career. Explore all your options and set yourself up for success with Skillshare with countless on-demand classes taught by experts in design, marketing, software development, and more. You'll build the skills you need to chart a new course with confidence. Skillshare is cool because you can take the class you want with the time you have. You're not stuck there all day in a classroom. You're not having to take a class you're not interested in. This is designed to take the class you want when you want. Here's a couple Skillshare classes that may interest you. Learn how to make a living as an artist, finding success online, personal productivity, start your creative career, learn how to scale a business with Facebook ads and more with new classes launched every single week. Plus one affordable yearly membership fee unlocks unlimited access to as many classes as you want. And you can keep learning on the go with the Skillshare app. With Skillshare's project-based, community-driven format, you'll start applying lessons right away and get feedback as you go along. Set sail for your career of your dreams with Skillshare. Visit Skillshare.com slash Roman today to get your first month free. That's Skillshare.com forward slash Roman, R-O-M-A-N. Let's get back to the show. Um, Everybody asks what we did with the red truck. And I don't know how we haven't said or showed this, but Clifford, the big red truck is your truck. Right. And every, everybody, we still have Clifford. It's Noah's. He, he took it over. He, uh, we, we gave him a cost on it and uh, it's his truck now. So we still have Clifford in the house. Sure do. I he, love that truck. It's such a good truck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of good memories in that mm-hmm. truck. I actually completely banged up the whole side of it before it was your truck. <laughs> I remember you tore the mirror off of it. Yep. You dented it all the side. Right like, here before, you go, Noah. Right yeah. before he got it. <laughs> I got my skid steer stuck down in the creek and, uh, you know, Brian came over to help me and all we had was my truck, the Clifford. And we would just be, we would yank the chain so hard. The whole truck would pick up and shift to the side. Well, to the side was trees. So I would yank the whole truck would jump up and then trees. So I was just banging it up every time. Stupid. But I'm like, that's my old red truck. It's what it's for. And then. Yeah. I think it gives it some character. <laughs> oh, it's glad not, it's you not think too bad. So. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a custom paint job on that. <laughs> yep. It's custom faded. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, what, what else has been going on, man? I know you're working. What's your job? I am a lifeguard. Of course you are, dude. Buff, <laughs> young, blonde haired, lifeguard. He's got it all. It made me feel comfortable being at the pool. I was like, oh, no, he's got knocks. Like, he's trained for this. Yeah, yeah. you had to do a lot of training, mm-hmm. CPR. Um, it took a while. It was like intense. It was very intense. We had to go to the police station and do background yeah. checks. There was a lot of stuff you had to do for it. Yeah. So when you guys, when you see a lifeguard, it's legit. Like you're trained to save a human. Mm-hmm. Has this happened? It actually happened last week for the first time, but it wasn't very bad. Did you have to blow your whistle and jump in or? I blew my whistle, but he was only about 10 feet away from me on the edge. So I was able to just jump down from the stand oh. and just grab him and just pull him. I didn't have to get oh, in. Oh, he's right at the, it was a young kid? Yeah. He just swim? He started walking towards the deep end, not knowing it got deeper. Oh. And then it slowly got deeper. He couldn't uh, swim. So him and I made eye contact. Oh yeah, he looked at the lifeguard yeah. immediately. I could see he was struggling, but I couldn't tell if he was drowning or like, not. Like I'll give it 30 seconds. Or so. <laughs> let, me, let me just, yeah. yeah. You good? <laughs> right. But I saw he was struggling, then he looked at me and I instantly knew. So Damn. I jumped down and- That is awesome. Yeah. How old do you think? He was probably eight, nine. I'm terrified of pools with kids, man. I know. That nothing gives me more anxiety. Mm-hmm. It's the worst because some of these parents will let their little kids, two, three years old, just walk. Mm-hmm. And I'm like staring this kid down. Don't <laughs> fall in, please. It's the worst. Yeah, I know with uh, you, I could probably set you down 
at all ages. If I set Knox down beside a pool, he almost went in the other day. Oh, he probably I, won't. He probably won't hit the water until he's halfway out. <laughs> with the markers <laughs> in his hands. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Just, dude. The kid is. He doesn't understand fear, pain, trouble. It's just full throttle baby bottle, dude. I don't know what's in that cow's milk, but he's ready to go. That's yeah. so true. So you saved you saved a life, dude. Yeah. Noah so Atwood saved. There's our title Child. right there. there you go. <laughs> do, uh, uh, saves a life. Do most eight, nine year olds know how to swim? I would say the majority, yeah. Okay. I'd say more people do know how to swim at the pool than don't. Have you seen these videos of parents babies chucking them in the water? And then they they flip. I forget what the name of it it's, is. It's, a, it's like a, uh, yes, it's like yeah, a specific yes, yeah. class. It's a real training you do with these babies. And the babies immediately learn to flip over and sit still where they can breathe. Most scary thing I've ever yeah. seen. They literally just chuck their childs in the water. And they're under for a while. Yeah. You know, they're, mm-hmm. they're trying to get flipped and then they just sit. Dang, That's dude. incredible. You could save, save their life. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely saved a lot of kids. Scary but man. I don't know if I could handle it. Kids in water, uh, it, it happens. And it's, I, uh, I don't even want to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, next subject. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, so uh, your, your, your best buddy, Owen, is about to move and do college. Right. What's your thoughts on college? You've still got a year of high school. You're going to be like dad and just wing it? Or are you going <laughs> to, you know, I want to, I want to go, I'm going to go take some classes. What's your thoughts? I'm not against college and I don't think I'm going to go to it because I already have my goals and I think that it's, they're definitely achievable without it. Heck yeah. And yeah, I'm not against it, but I just don't think it's for me. Yeah, and awesome. I'm also the last four years of high school. I hate, <laughs> I cannot stand it. So I couldn't imagine doing another four. And I feel like those four years of college are even harder. Definitely way mm-hmm. harder. So I just don't, I can't see me doing it. Yeah. Got a problem with your eyes? Can't see yourself doing it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I felt the same way, man. And what a gift, uh, a major gift that you you see goals in front of you. A lot of people get out of high school and they don't have a goal. Um, you know, everyone knows I just wanted to make videos. I didn't know that was the actual goal, right? I just was going to do it. So it's good that you have that. It's such a gift. Um you come from a family of, of no school, so it's tough. You know, mm-hmm. grandpa, uh, you know, the same as me. It's just like we found we're entrepreneurs at heart. Right. And I think you have a lot of that in you too. I already see it. So that's awesome, dude. Yeah. You can be the next. Uh, who's who's big in the gym world? Who's big in the fitness world? Bradley Martin. Yeah, guys like Bradley Martin, who's who's capitalized on branding and, and uh, bringing in that audience. I've seen was was that Bradley at the Arnold Fitness? They could he couldn't even walk through there. Was that Bradley? I don't know. I love this guy. Arnold, though. yeah, <laughs> great guy, and he uh, he's built the audience you're probably seeking. It's like oh, yeah. uh, you know, let's let's better our lives and feel better and things yeah, like that. That's so. another thing. I'm incredibly influenced by the people of the gym world right now. Like the top of the top, they influence me, and now, yeah. They influenced me to go to the gym and what's your they, thoughts on liver King? I like him. <laughs> I like his content. Uh, whether it's just a show or not. Yeah. I do really like he's you, you talk about branding mm-hmm. smart, smart. Yeah, oh. he's, Have you tried the raw liver in the freezer? No. <laughs> oh, we do gotta want do that. that. No, we, we don't. What if, you loved it? <laughs> what if you loved it though? And you're like, There's oh wow. There's heart and now, liver I, in there. I, I think now it's I a mental thing. Like yeah. If I put that in my mouth, in my mouth I'm going to want to gag. Yeah. You oh, yeah. swallow it. Yeah. yeah. She puts a um, little maple syrup on it. I'll make you some and let you try it. Mm, It'll be right. a, a, a new right. TikTok. <laughs> Sprinkle some protein powder on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, holy. Yeah, it's rough. It's rough, but you just swallow it. And, uh, you know, yeah, uh, if you're jumping into this fitness world, you got to, you got to, you got to understand it, right? Yeah, I guess. You don't, you don't got to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Man, you're eating McRibs at night. I don't want to hear I it. I know. You don't got to do that neither. <laughs> All right. You got to do that neither. Okay, so we used to do this running joke where in the vlogs, I would pick you up on the side of the road. It was like our way to to get you in the vlogs each 
each time. Yeah, that's funny because those comments are still on my TikToks. Like people remember that <laughs> and a lot believe, of them do. I can't believe that stuck so well. I know. It's like, that's how I feed my eel. Like there's the weirdest <laughs> oh things that really stuck with people. Have you ever seen that? I, we would come up with funny ways. It'd be like, I'm vlogging half the day. All right, guys, we're here, we're there, we're there. Oh, what's this kid on the side of the road? And he's out there, thumb, <laughs> thumbs up. Oh, oh my God, no, what's up, dude? And it was like, it was the only way that I could uh, get him into the vlogs from, because I, I wouldn't film going to your mom's house mm. to pick him up, right? So we would make it funny yeah. that I just found my son <laughs> randomly. He'd be uh, sleeping in a cornfield or hitchhiking. And that stuck with people big yeah. time. It's so goofy. Yeah. I remember, I remember one of the last times we did it, you got in the car and you had like three ticks on you. <laughs> yes, remember, I you, think I remember that. You were like laying in that grass for minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I basically I basically would drop Noah off, right? And then I would take the car down and then I'd start, I'd drive back filming. I'm like, hey guys, what's up? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, who's this? And I, it's Noah laying in the field. Wake up, dude, let's go. And we would do that over and over and over. And it was basically based on getting you from your mom's. Yeah. yeah it's like, I couldn't, or I wouldn't pick you up at your mom's. So, right. so funny. And now we're, um, gosh, are we three years now since you've lived with me full time? Yeah. Since COVID. Been three years. Yeah. Yeah. Since COVID. Mm-hmm. Holy cow. Is that, that crazy? That is crazy. That's yeah. so crazy. I haven't really thought about that. Is, is it, is that, is that weird now? Cause you, I mean, you live kind of half and half for, mm-hmm. For so it's just our life, right? Right. And and I dreamed and prayed that I would have you full time, but that was impossible. That's not the way the courts work. Right. right? So for me, that was truly impossible. I always uh, hated asking on Sundays, like, have you talked to your mom? Like, have you figured out what's going on? Yeah, it's like we have an agreement and that's that's how the courts work. And that was our life. And I and I dreamed of the day. And I almost knew it would happen. I almost knew I'd have you full time at some point. And then about three years ago, you were with me full time. Mm-hmm. And COVID happened and everyone was just too scared to do anything. I don't even know how it all really happened, but uh, it's just, it's been such a blessing to me um, to have you home every day, every single day. Yeah. I remember you talking about that a oh. lot, like before COVID and before mm-hmm. all that. Dude, I wanted it so bad. Right? I didn't know how to do it. So if COVID did anything for me, <laughs> is it got my son full time, which is which is really, really crazy. And Thankful. Now you have a real yeah. crazy little one from COVID too. <laughs> <sighs> COVID's just full of blessings. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's 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 been really cool. Mm-hmm. Just having my boy, especially in this these final years before you're an adult. Right. Yeah. Now. I've got to put my Midas touch on you. <laughs> I can't even take credit for you, man. You're so good. Um, is there is there anything on like that you always wanted to do with your dad or like do something as a family to that they never done? Like, for example, like he, they both went skydiving. Have you ever decided like that's something that I would like to do as a family? When you said do this for this 18th birthday, yeah, yeah, I, that's we were just, what we were just talking. We were just, about. no way. Yeah, I was just where? <laughs> not, not, not with Noah. With Noah oh, but you just ruined the I'm surprise. Sorry, Happy man. birthday, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, we we were just discussing like maybe man, we take him skydiving. We gotta oh, do sorry. something so like so fun for Noah's 18th, and we did discuss skydiving because we've talked about going skydiving. Yeah, yeah, and you're down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this made me, are you down? Yo, I am down. Obviously, it's incredibly scary, but it's, it's not. It is. I think for me, it's anticipation. Yeah, getting in the plane, going yeah. all the way up. Because once you're in there, you you have to do it. It's it. Yeah, you can't. That's it. Yeah, yeah. No, but it, it'll 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 change your life, dude. I'm down. Yeah, we'll do it soon. Your birthday's in October, so it shouldn't be too cold yet. It's hit and miss. Yeah, oh, man, it gets cold up there fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think we've done what four times now i've gone three or four mm, times i've only gone once i love it i'll go again anytime every time was worth it oh yeah oh yeah dude it's it's amazing it's beautiful that's that's where i heard that quote uh that that, that instructor he said you'll never know why a bird sings until you fly you know i love that 
Oh, that's good. Yeah? That's a good quote. Yeah. Because right, instructors here all day, why would anybody do this? Mm. Well, you'll never know why a bird sings unless you try it. That's right. Just free falling, dude. Mm -hmm. I look forward to seeing that. Seeing it? You got to go. You know, I just, I believe I'm way too much. <laughs> Come on, man. You got meatball class. <laughs> yeah. You got meatball class. You just got to get a very small instructor. <laughs> <laughs> so did I, did, did we ever tell you the story when we went to Dubai? We tried to go skydiving. Yeah, we tried to go skydiving. I said way too much. They wouldn't let me go. First really? of all, you couldn't Country do anything in Dubai. Anything, in Dubai. anything. The Dubai he is the not. Elevator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dubai is not built for heavy dudes. Yeah. Because he wasn't allowed to do it. Couldn't do the zip lining. Couldn't do the skydiving. Couldn't ride the elevator. It was a mess. Dude, we were trying to cheat. We were trying to put our foot under the scale so that he would wait no. and couldn't do it. He had me. Running five miles before we even go anywhere. I'm like, go poop, dude. Go poop. You're going to no, make us. It's, I think you'll have a great time. And I can't wait. If I could do it with you guys, I will. Mama, I'll find out. Mama like, did it. Mama you did can do it. it. Mama did do it. What a rock star. Oh, what a rock star. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. 80, 80 years old. That was her 80th birthday. Yeah. Mm hmm Oh man, we got to definitely 18. Like, say no more. Yeah, it's, 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 it's hard end. when there's an 80 year old doing mm -hmm. it. And Brittany doing it mm -hmm. for anybody there to be like, I, I, no, 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 I ain't doing it. You know you what I mean? Calling me a sissy? No, but you're like a, you know, a petite girl, and then you got grandma. You know, you got to man up as a man. You're like, well, if Granny and Brittany can do it. I, I can do it, dude. I'm gonna find a way. I'm gonna find a way for you to go. Cause you're gonna drop like a rock, bro. Give him some ball broth for this two weeks. No, but I want a big, big group. Yeah, this family song. skydive. You know, my dad and brother went too. I got my dad. To, I got my dad to go. Yeah, no, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You know, my dad and brother went. Too. I got my dad to go. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, dad went and Dale. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it'd be cool to have a whole group. Mom didn't go. But mom didn't skydive. No. I don't remember the time you're talking about. Really? Am I just making this up? <laughs> No, oh, Dad and Dale went. I don't remember that. Am I making this up right now? Wait, I don't remember. I don't remember. But there would be definitely a No, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Is that when Grandma went? That's when Grandma went. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I was yeah pregnant. you're right. You're right. We were probably just thinking. It just, we were just, I was just focused on thinking. Grandma. Yeah. I was pregnant with Cora. I couldn't mm -hmm. go. Yeah, but skydiving's beautiful. It really is. Okay. It's, it's, you appreciate life, dude. When, when your foot touches the ground, you appreciate life. You know? Well, my feet is always get, on the ground. You get, you get a sense of maybe this is over. Mm -hmm. For that brief second, when you hit the floor, you're like, okay. I have another chance. All right. Yeah. So it's no, very eye opening. Noah's not scared at all. <laughs> so, what else? If it's not skydiving, what else? Yeah. What do you want to do for your yeah. 18th birthday? This well, has got to be special, funny. man. When you started to say, What do you want to do? I thought skydiving was the first thing that came to my head. Oh, oh, there you go. That's See? Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Because yeah. we had talked about this since I was like 15. Exactly. A long time. Friendship birthday though what restaurant you want to go to <laughs> restaurant this guy this guy yeah. stay away from this guy man town hall sells uh -huh. bone broth we'll go there, <laughs> yeah, there <you> go. <laughs> uh yeah we got to do something uh exciting i think skydiving would be the best yeah and you won't Big forget group. you won't no. forget that no. yeah that's you important so we'll uh we'll, we'll have uh you can skydive with two mcribs you yeah. gotta have them both done by the time <laughs> you land <laughs> All right, it'll be a McRib <laughs> challenge. <laughs> Dude, <I'd be> like, <laughs> <laughs> the little goggles on. No, I'm down. I'm down. Um, we got to do something else, though. But, and so the one thing I have been, I've been skydiving. Have, have you ever been? Um, have when you, guys when ever have you been skydiving? I swear to you. Uh, when? I've been skydiving. When? I'll show you the video. I have you got a video. I have a DVD. How old were you? <sighs> Eighteen. So, was, this, this is when I had. This is when I had a hairline. You oh, know I mean? we got the no, 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 flow. no, no. But um, no, I have, I have the DVD because no one would never believe me that I did it. But I actually have pictures. You have okay. a DVD player. Yeah. Where did you do it at? Um, in um, in Florida. Oh, that's probably yeah, in Florida. Yeah. But this was when I was like 180 pounds. So, you know, I was. Yeah. I don't think I was over the weight limit back then. No. But one thing that I've been noticing on TikTok. Have you been seeing the people that's been getting pushed over like that bungee? Oh yeah, yeah. I wouldn't do and, that. And no, 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 no. So, so would you do that? No. You know what's weird? I do not want to bungee jump. You know what's weird is I, I, I tend to enjoy extreme things. There's mm -hmm. some about me that I do enjoy. Uh, I enjoy going skydiving or or whatever it is, but bungee jumping, I can't do it. Mm -mm. I can't do it. 
I can't. What if that thing snaps? I don't even think about it snapping. I think about like the liquid in my brain. You know when they come down and I'm just like dead. In my head, my whole brain's going to pop. It's going to come out my ears. Is that weird? Yeah, it's totally <laughs> weird. weird. No, no. <laughs> but I'll go jump yeah, out of a plane yeah. anytime. Yeah. So I've been, um, <laughs> what are you afraid of? Sharks. Oh, <laughs> shark dive in the Bahamas, dude. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I would do that. Would you? I actually yeah. would. We could go get our dive license. Me and, yeah. me and, me and shark bait here did it. Yo, yeah, I would do it. All he did was use me as a shield the whole entire <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah, I was like, this dive's going to be great, dude. <laughs> Every shark that came, he just kept going like this. No, nah, that's time. Time. Dude, that's one of the best dives in the world. It's one of my favorite Yeah, you things. couldn't pick up a, a better dive. I'll never go to the Bahamas and not do that dive. I've done it probably five times. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Yeah, that was super fun. Oh, take me. Super take me back. Fun. Super fun. Would you go on to shark dive? Yeah. yeah. I just would have to get my license. Because I went, I've done like a crash course dive. Mm-hmm. And I had like a full panic attack trying to go under. That was a rough day though. That was a rough day. Um, so the instructor ended up holding my hand the entire dive, but I like I did it. Um, but it's just like a confidence thing. Like I would have to feel mm-hmm. comfortable. It does take diving. Time. Dive diving's not uh it, it can't be rushed. Yeah. Right? Like that. Well, every he's t- a fish now, he's a lifeguard. Every oh, this kid would kill it. But like every time you descend. Mm-hmm. Like it, 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 you have to descend yeah, so many you times where you're comfortable yeah, exactly. with it. You don't want to be descending into sharks mm-hmm. without that confidence that you're, you're, yeah, yeah, everything's yes. working properly. Yes. So that, the panic does set in. Mm-hmm. Um, I had to experience nitrogen narcosis to get my deep divers license. So, uh, to be able to dive, um, you know, 120 feet, you have to be a deep diver. Mm-hmm. So open water is what you have. Yes. That's an open water license. Um, I have a deep diver's license, but in order to get that, I had to experience nitrogen narcosis and it scared me to death. So you basically, uh, as you descend each atmosphere, 33 feet, 66 feet, um, your, your tank, your tank and your, your oxygen splits in half and in half and in half. And that creates more nitrogen that you're, that you're breathing. If I remember correctly, so once you hit a certain depth and you're inhaling that nitrogen, the whole world just started spinning. And I'm 120 feet. At 120 feet, you cannot go to the top. Yeah, you can't. You cannot. So whatever goes wrong, yeah. you're down there. Yeah. Um, so that experience scared me to death, dude. Yeah, you have to experience it. So basically everything just starts spinning. You're just underwater, freaked out, knowing you can't go up. And I remember my instructor calm this is we're gonna ascend slowly Mm -hmm. and as soon as we started ascending just a few feet just out of that 120 range everything reset but man i never want to do that again the problem is guys get addicted to that they get addicted to the nitrogen and that's how you die that's how people die because you don't have a lot of time down there um and you just get basically high on your own supply (laughs) (laughs) rule number one you don't do it. <laughs> oh my god! Um, so yeah, man, diving's great. <laughs> so <laughs> when, when everything was spinning, do you? What do you see? Like, is actually everything spinning? Everything spinning just in your head? Yeah, it, uh, you spun or, uh, on the floor. You just spin, 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 and stop. Everything's spinning. So your body is spinning, or is it just in your head? It's just in your head. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. No, your yeah. body just started spinning. <laughs> he said spinning I'm underwater on the floor. Like yeah, you said spinning on the floor. <laughs> yeah, it's just what I saw. You go down to 120. It's just what I saw. <laughs> yeah, my brain was just freaking out. And, and, and I'd also just been coming off of carbon monoxide poisoning. So panic was setting in. I was a mess, dude. I had no business doing it. But I'm glad I did because some of our greatest dives, all our greatest dives are shallow. Yeah. You know, 60 feet. It's great. You, well, know, you love the ocean. I love you, the you're ocean. ocean you have, you're yeah. an ocean person I love too. It, yeah. mm-hmm. Are you a big surfer? I've because never. He, oh, he's he, bigger now. No, like, but yeah. he, he he says he loves to surf, and like you like he loves to go to Hawaii and like see people at least try to surf. You know, are you are you going to be one of those? I would love to learn because I've yet to learn. Yeah, surprisingly, because yeah, right? you, Dale, Grandpa, all you, know. Yeah, how. you got to want to just get out there and do it. And obviously, we live in Ohio. Mm-hmm. It's not ideal for the the surf. But uh, yeah, man, we, we we love the islands and yeah, we, some of our greatest memories have just been on them trips. We've always made it a point to get the family out. I mean, we've taken some together and mm-hmm. Mr. Rat King himself here. Yeah. Uh, but we need another. We need to 
We need to do that. Yeah. Fine. When you said shark dive in Bahamas, like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll go to Bahamas just for that. So any like, uh, any memories of this whole journey, man? Like, I feel like this is a different life now. Now that the vlogging is settled and the, the, the grind of YouTube is chill and we're shooting podcasts and like, it feels like another lifetime. Mm-hmm. That, that life feels like it never happened. And we're just sitting here right now. Right. Like, what happened, dude? Mm-hmm. Do you have any memories of like, you know, dad's gone again or what's dad doing or, you know, was it, did I seem like a crazy dad or I seem normal? To me, it was always normal. Oh, cool. Like <clears throat> I would wake up. I mean, I remember one time I woke up, it was pretty late in the like, afternoon or something a couple of years ago. And there was like monster trucks out in the front yard or the backyard or whatever. <laughs> like that was just kind of normal. Like, it was normal. I was like, oh, he's filming a video. Which by the way is not normal. <laughs> right. Right. That's, the, normal. No, that's yeah. the weird part of our life. I was so strange. Every day was like, how do we one up our day? Mm-hmm. You get in that stress of like, I got to one up my day. I got to one up my day. So yeah. Yeah. Man. You've always been requested. I remember you not being in the videos. Yeah. Holy smokes. How long did that last? It was a while. Was it like six months or in like three? No. Six months? In fact, the Bahama shark dive was the first video I had to remove with at that time. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was crushed. I was so heartbroken. Yeah. Yeah. I was. I was just had to start. Dude, that was rough, dude. So now we had to daily vlog which is our career, it's our life, it's our family. Now we had to daily vlog and avoid camera time with you, Mm -hmm. which how do you explain that to your kid? You know, we still got to vlog every day. That's our job. Right. But now you can't be in it. Dude, do you remember that? I do. I remember most of it. Yeah. Were you crushed? Were you, I don't remember you being too upset. I feel like I didn't have too much emotion towards it. It was just, I knew it had to be that way. But what a hard thing. To take, uh, you know, it's like taking a main character out of a TV show like that. Boom. He's gone. Mm -hmm. And you never even mentioned. And not only that, I couldn't. I couldn't speak of it. You're not allowed to mention me at all. So what a hard time. It didn't take many videos before people realize, wait, where's Noah? Wasn't he just on vacation with him? (laughs) And then for months, bring my N-word Noah back was the hashtag people (laughs) started. Was that one of them? Oh, it was like the main one, dude. I don't know how it started. I remember that one. But that was the hashtag, and it went viral. It was on other people's videos. It was it was everywhere. Everybody wanted to know about it. And, man, what a hard time. So wasn't there one video? Wasn't it Fousey's video? I think so. It showed me just you a little clip. You went the background. Yeah. Which, technically, you were allowed to be in anybody else's videos. Oh, okay. How crazy is that? That is crazy. That's crazy, but right? A lot of people saw that, and I remember that blowing up. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Fousey. <laughs> yeah, I remember that too, dude. I started getting comments and tweets and I was like, wait a minute. And then uh, sure enough, you're just like walking through the background. Yep. Everyone's like, no, it's a lot. And then that went really big. Yeah. And uh, I just remember fighting, fighting for it. And then mm-hmm. finally we got it. Yeah. And uh, Noah came back into the vlogs. But that was a very difficult time in our lives. Yeah. It was hard to do something fun as a family and purposely avoid showing him. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Like that is miserable. That is yeah. the worst case scenario for a family vlogging. Right? One of your kids can't be seen. Yeah. Brutal. But now we're here. Are we here? You're saving everything lives. Everything was all right. <laughs> yep. Everything, everything was, was all right. right. Now, yeah. And now I think we both look at that past and see what where we're at now. It all makes sense. Mm-hmm. It all makes sense. It, uh, it all worked out. Our way of life now is like everything built this. And now we're here. Yeah. We get to enjoy life together. What a blessing, man. What a gift. So glad that I got to do it with you. Because Kane would have probably killed me by now. I'd, I'd, <laughs> Kane would have been punished already. <laughs> Kane, we need Kane on this podcast. Yeah. Just as a, what's that thing where you get a friend together and it's like a, <laughs> what's that called? Like a, your friend has a problem and it's like an ambush. What's that called? Gang up? No, dude. It's like a, It starts with an I. Intervention. 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 Right, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's like we, Kane, here we go. We brought you here today. <laughs> Do no. we not do that like twice a day? 
Oh, I love all my kids so much. This one, this one gets me, man. This one gets me. Right now, I feel like he's coming out of this. Yeah, yeah, no, like he's, he's starting to climb out of like he's a, the hard stage. He's a beautiful soul, but he's had the sweet life. Cora's starting to get. Kane's coming out. Cora's going in. All the younger kids have had the sweet life because I already had success by the time they were young. Where you, we had, we didn't have success yet. We were building it with you, mm -hmm. right? So my other kids have, they, they, they don't, they don't know the past life. They don't know the difference. They just assume this is all here and that's it. As a young kid growing up, I always wanted to do something to beat my dad at. Do you ever look at your dad and go, I could take you in an arm wrestling match or like, or, like now that you're in the fitness oh world, God. like have you ever said, let me take you through my routine or like like or put you through a workout? You should put both of them through your workout. That's a good idea. I <laughs> we've talked about arm wrestle before. Oh about man. arm wrestling. I think I could take you still. Oh <laughs> look at his face. I don't think talk. so. Maybe. I, we can probably do it right here. You think? It's, I mean it's wide, but yeah. You guys are gonna <clears throat> I'll see. Let's why don't we do it at the end? Like I'll see. we'll we'll Okay. Let's see. Oh my God, dude! You're so no, but you you need. Oh, that ain't oh. bad. Okay. This that is like bad. the this is like the Arnold oh, Schwarzenegger. I'm actually Predator nervous, pick. dude. I can't let my yeah. little baby beat me. Oh my gosh! Oh my God! Can I but, film this? Whew. Yeah, yeah. You yes. guys can film. Here wait, we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to come over here because I need to make sure no one's cheating. Okay? Do I got to go over the top, Mike? Um, I got to flip my hat backwards to Lincoln Hall. To Lincoln, Lincoln Hall, Hall baby. <laughs> Lincoln Hall. So it's gonna be on. On one, two, and I'm gonna go three okay, like that. Okay, here they go. All right. Do you want to do you want to hold that side of the table? What feels best? Oh God, hold you it, got a death it. grip this on that thing. Serious, right here. I can go under. I don't think, oh. Are you supposed to hold it? Right. Are you it helps. It helps keep okay. you center. Okay. All right, you ready? ready? One. Oh my God, he's gonna break my arm. <laughs> oh my God. One, two, three. Oh, and here they go. Dang. The, the, are you going? This is yeah. intense. <laughs> oh, it's dead. <laughs> You weren't even trying. He was not trying at all. Oh, I was playing with you. Good oh. <laughs> so for the record, my brother's always been a lot bigger than me. <laughs> and me and Dale have a rivalry that I've always beat him at arm wrestling. And I used to beat Fusi on tour every night and everyone thought it was fake. Yeah. He oh, yeah. was upset every night that you used every to night. beat him. Every In fact, night. we had to quit doing it on tour because he his arm hurts yes. so bad. But everyone thought it was fake because his <laughs> arms are easily two yeah. times bigger. So I just had that weird like ability. Lincoln Hawk, dude. That makes you feel good, industry. dude. Yeah. Let's go. There you go. <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe it's good you let him win at 17. Yeah. 18, you just destroy I got more I motivation now. I appreciate you letting me win, bro. <laughs> yeah. I, it can never be real, right? So oh. what's what's the startup, man? We got to do something together. We got to do like a fitness a fitness thing here going on. I think. Are you into fitness? No. <laughs> That's why I said you guys got to do a fitness, fitness thing going on. Fitness is McRib in your mouth. Yeah. Fitness rib in my mouth. I think. <laughs> I think it's a challenge. You guys got to be. What's the challenge? Well, right now he well, knows well, he first, needs to work harder. Well, first of all, you guys. You need the, to get a profile three, picture. His old the, dad. The his three of y'all have been inspiring the world. Wow. Like, listen, let's keep it real. You guys been, have been inspiring the world. Like, I, what can you guys do as, as, as parents, as a young man growing up? Like, what can we do to push the world? To put you know, the ribs down. I'm happy that I've built my career on uh, trying to make people's lives a little better. And I'm thrilled that you're talking about wanting to motivate people into the gym and, mm -hmm. and just be healthier and, you know, <laughs> I think, I think, uh, I, I like, here's why I like this podcast so much. Me and Noah are always doing something, right? It's like, we, we have moments together. We hang out in the evening. We ride one wheels. Like we have that time, but usually it's like, I'm doing something. He's doing something. We kind of intervene, but this is like a, an excuse to, we're both locked in here for this hour and we can't leave. And it's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I enjoy the time. Yeah. It's like you're, dude, I ain't got many more hours on a table with you. 
It's no, crazy. I don't remember the last time we just sat down and talked. <laughs> right? We're always <laughs> we're, doing stuff. We're never home at the same time. Yeah. Or it's hard to get you to talk. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, w- I will say that. Yeah. You know? I, I was coming in this podcast. I was like, man, conversating is part of podcasting, right? Yeah. It's like, and I was worried about the yes, no answers, but I think you're doing really well. Yeah. Thank you. Very happy with it. Do you have any uh, like fun stories that you want to share? Like, like again, like a lot of our viewers are just from the vlogs and from our past. They've grown with you. Do you have any inspiring words for them that, that may be going through a separated family or, you know, I don't know. Kind of. Right. I mean, I would say something you always told me is time heals everything. I've always loved that a lot and I 100% believe in it <clears throat> because at the time it was rough, but now looking back, it all worked out. Time really did heal everything. Yeah. So uh, it's, that's, that's, that's a tough one too. Cause you got to wait. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's not up to you. It takes time. Uh, especially with passings. I know when mom passed, that was hard on all of us. Mm-hmm. Like what a, what a, what a horrible time. And, you know, we'll think about that for the rest of our lives, but you're able to cope with time. It's like, takes time and, you know, things like that. He hasn't had a McRib in a couple of weeks. He's probably (laughs) having withdrawals. Um, I don't know uh, if you want to talk about this or not, but. Here's what I want to talk about after this. Go ahead. Okay. What about, uh, you were talking about not having to punish Noah, all this. Do you remember when he got a detention last year? No. Hey, that wasn't my fault. My boy don't get detentions. <laughs> Do you remember that? No. He came home and said he had to stay after school. Oh, weren't school you late? Yeah, it was the school's fault. Last year, I had two detentions because I was late because the school's stop sign was always blocked. Yeah. I By, swear there you know was, I I swear there was something yeah. else. You're blaming it on the school. That's my son right there. I swear <laughs> there was something else that had to do with the toilet. Oh, that was freshman year. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, weren't you throwing like wet? <laughs> yes. And I remember telling you. No, like, the one was a latex glove just filled with water and I put it in the toilet because I didn't know what to do with it. And <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting here talking about how good you are. Um, <laughs> hey, I've changed. <laughs> I've changed. I'm a new man. Yep. Uh, I, yeah, gosh. Yeah, you're really not that great, are you? <laughs> no, I'm not. I want to, I want to, I want to, I just thought of this. Um, you were three ish about four when when britney came into our lives Mm. he had just turned four and i remember this being a complicated part of my life because now i have to introduce um this girl that's almost the same age as you at that time oh my gosh (laughs) (laughs) don't say that (laughs) but i remember you two connecting so well i (laughs) <laughs> we broke, yeah, broke country, dude. Yeah. The only thing she come out with. <laughs> I'm so, so Britt and Noah, you guys connected really well, which made me happy. Because you would be like, when's that girl coming over? And you were just like instantly so good with Noah. Yeah, right? I mean, I had nephews and stuff that yeah. I would... I knew how to play with kids. So this was like a huge I was babysitter for a while. blessing to me, but it was also like freaking weird, right? Cause you have a mom. Right. And now this stranger danger is in the house. What what do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> what do you remember about that? Um well I feel like that's what really made me want my own kids. Is like how amazing I saw you with Noah. And then it was like I want, I want this. I want this relationship. I want, mm. you know, I want more family. And I feel like having Noah is, you know, all the time was like, okay, we need more. We need more of these. We humans. need more Noahs. Well, where did we go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> you were like, you were like the puppy at the pet store. That's cute while you're there. But once you bring it home, <laughs> boom, got her. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, do you remember anything from that stage of your life? No, none. That's crazy. No, I'd seen pictures of like her and I hanging out, yeah. you know, 
You were but, all Indiana Jones at that age. Yeah. Everything yeah. was Indiana Jones, dude. He had the hat, the whip, the bag. Oh, man. Great movie. And lightsabers. Lightsabers. Yeah. yeah. I think there's a B in there. I do remember the Indiana Jones phase. Yeah. Dude, you Those love big. It. Yeah. We used to like lift up cardboard for you and then you'd slowly close it so we could run and do the Indiana Jones slide and then you shut the cardboard. I remember people at the rope factory because I would come with you for the yep. day or whatever and People knew I loved it, and I would run around with my hat and everything. Yep. And people would uh, take giant pieces of cardboard yep. and like shut it, un <laughs> shut it for me, so I could run and drop your hat and then have yeah. to grab it. Dude, yeah, you loved any other jobs. I did. Those were good days, man. I, I, I don't. I, I'm, I'm glad I'm where I'm at now, and I wouldn't change any of it. Um, I, I used to get asked that a lot. It's like. Would you go back and change? I had a failed marriage, right? And I always went to, I would never change it because I I got Noah, right? So it's like that part of my life had to happen, yeah, right? It's like sometimes your fail your failures, um, are, they're just part of your future. Mm -hmm. You know, like you 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 will fail at things, yeah, and that and you have to. If you don't fail, you're not growing, right? You have to fail. That's what creates who you are in the future. So embrace failure. You know, it's going to happen. Yeah. You know, you're not always going to save the kid in the pool, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're the best lifeguard ever. Um, but yeah, as you try these things, as you, tr you know, you venture out, you have to be prepared to fail and embrace it. Mm -hmm. Like it's not always a bad thing. I know we look at all these failures as a bad thing, but it's not because without it, uh, in fact, without that failure, I wouldn't have Kane, Cora, or Knox, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And with the failure, I got you. So there's absolutely a lot of wins in failure. Mm -hmm. oh. I think you can learn from all of them yeah, on you, your way to— You have no choice. Yeah. Yeah, you have no choice. It's part of how you get through the failure. Right. Is by learning. So. So, so what's your craziest, craziest or most memorable thing? from filming or from growing up or? My favorite was always the ball pit. Really? <laughs> yes. That was so fun. I remember all of our friends and family came over and just the surprise of it. Everybody was so happy that day. Like everybody was laughing. And I remember that whole day well, so well. You, you, Little you and little Owen? Yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah. dude. That's usually everybody's go-to video. Mm -hmm. Like that one, it was also unheard of on YouTube at that time to do things like that. It yeah. was so weird. Isn't that like your most popular video on the prank it's channel? It's definitely one of, and it definitely changed our whole career, that video. Mm -hmm. So glad it was a hit. Glad it was a success. Yeah, what else? What I, got? I, I, I wish we would have asked people questions for you today. Cause yeah, I, feel, I thought about that. I feel like there's a lot, I feel like there's a part two to this, mm -hmm. right? It's like, this is like the yeah. break the ice with Noah episode, but then there's like a more serious questionnaire for Noah. Yeah, you know there should be. Yeah, so guys, if you got questions, put them in the comments. Um, I think round two will definitely happen eventually, and we'll link Noah's social so you oh. make sure you get the right ones because <clears throat> who knows right. how many numbers are in it, or there's no <laughs> profile picture, or like. <laughs> what is your uh, so Noah Atwood one is your TikTok. That's it. That's all you have. Yep. Okay. That's my only, I mean, I have personal accounts, but that is my only one that I post on. So that's good to know. So if, 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 if there is another no at one Instagram, or whatever, it's not you. No, all of those are fake. Yeah. There's wow. hundreds. That's crazy. And there's some with hundreds of thousands of subscribers or followers on them. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. Because people would just think it's you. Yeah. Or potentially you or us or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. dang, dude, that's awesome. Well, you're going to have to get those accounts somehow. I know. I yeah. tried to get Noah Atwood on Instagram, but it's like a, it's an actual it's a real person. person. It's not like a fan account. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> well, Noah Atwood won, dude. I know. I couldn't find the original name on TikTok. It was taken too. You should have spelled hmm. it W-O-N though. Like Noah Atwood won. 
<laughs> like victories <laughs> already yeah, happened. That would be good. Oh, I would want. I like that. Well, now that's gone because yeah, I said yeah. it. You should Definitely put your gone. profile to Indiana Jones just hat. <laughs> Just put that that would be good. You can do all right your workouts there. with the bell <laughs> for the, the first the week. <laughs> the Indiana Jones hat. They'll be like, "All right, this definitely isn't." <laughs> <laughs> what is this? That's okay. good. We need a picture of you with your Indiana Jones. I have it. That would be a funny profile picture. That would be good. That'd be great. Let's do. That. I would do. I would. I would yeah, take that. We gotta find that. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, I could even post on my TikTok those questions. Ask what would you guys want to see on the podcast? Yeah. What questions do you have? Yeah, I want to I want to go through a 40 day challenge with you. What kind of challenge? Like get like me a the, training get challenge. A training challenge. Okay. It's well, just an eating challenge. You know, and maybe 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 if I do a lot of the dieting, you know, I could put myself through 40 days. No, I'm going to do it. Man, maybe like 32 days. <laughs> <laughs> but but not nah, like like we should do it. Yeah. And show the beginning to the end results. I would do it. Put the old man to the test. <laughs> I need you to be hard on me, though. I need you to be, like, on me. And then you better pick up your phone if I'm emotionally breaking down. <laughs> I'm just in front of McDonald's I like, don't hey, boy. chicken again. <laughs> so I'm over here right it. now just about to do it. I'm about to try it through. It's awesome. Guys, thank you for joining um, this week's episode. New episode every Wednesday, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Noah, I love you forever, dude. Love you guys. To the moon and back, as grandma would say. <laughs> Britain country guys thanks for um i love you guys too love you. by the way <laughs> love you guys too thank you what was that it's week i brushed my teeth come on love me <laughs> <laughs> we will see you guys next week this was uh, i feel like just a nice light-hearted uh icebreaker with noah i think mm -hmm. we could get into some real uh questions with you guys in the future so please leave them uh we really came into this blank today we should yeah. God forbid we prepare for anything, right? Like, God forbid we just sit right. down together and say, hey, yeah. what, let's just jot out a couple notes. Nothing. Mm -mm, it's not, not our style. We, we even said style. that we would do it. I, we even mm -hmm. said we would do it. Didn't do it. Hope you guys still enjoyed it. We, we love you so much. Please consider subscribing. Thanks for listening on uh, Spotify and Apple and all those other places. And we will see you next week. You're beautiful. You're one of a kind. Smile more. All right, buddy. That was great. That was so fun with that you, man. Good, yeah. You're the best, dude. Yeah, that was really fun. I can't even imagine you. Uh, I can't even imagine Kane sitting here at your age and then how old you'll be. Yeah. Right? That's true. Yikes, dude.